The case of the Toronto 18 stunned the country 10 years ago, a plot to blow up buildings and behead the Prime Minister. One of those convicted and still in prison today was Zakaria Amara, a dual Jordanian-Canadian citizen, until the Harper government passed a law to strip dual citizens of their Canadian passports if convicted of terrorism. To revoke citizenship for people, it's a slippery slope. It was a hot topic in the election campaign. Are you seriously saying, Mr. Trudeau, will you never be able to revoke citizenship from somebody? A Canadian the individual is a in Canadian, question, Mr. Trudeau. Is a Canadian and you devalue, you devalue the citizenship of every Canadian. But the Tories pressed on and during the campaign, Zakaria Amara became the only person to lose his citizenship under the new law. Through that conviction, uh, he effectively renounced his own Canadian citizenship. But now Amara stands to get it back. The Liberals plan to repeal the law, saying it's not right to treat dual citizens differently. But only those who are dual citizenship, dual citizens, were subject to revocation. And so therefore we had two classes of citizens, and we believe very strongly that there should be only one. The immigration minister also plans to relax language requirements for citizenship and to reduce the time that applicants must spend in Canada from four years to three. But the case of Zakaria Amara is a problem. I mean, my life might be a little simpler if there was not this one person out there. But the fact is, there is. And so I am comfortable adhering to the point of principle that this applies across the board. This bill is a win for Zachariah Amara and not many other Canadians. The Conservatives are not impressed by the principle. The first message that the government is sending in their mandate to Canadians is that our priority piece of legislation is to give the citizenship back to a man who was convicted of a plot to bomb downtown Toronto. The government says that citizenship can still be revoked for those who obtain it by false pretenses. But the Conservatives say that would mean that you could lose your citizenship for fraud, but not for terrorism.